Hello, everybody. Welcome to the of Tokyo. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about flights to Japan, booking them in May of 2022 after the announcement that you are maybe allowed to come here as a tourist starting next month. Is that the case? And what's going on? One of the most asked about questions that I'm getting on Instagram, on social media, people are direct messaging me like crazy right now, and I have no way to really answer them, is uh, what do I do about transferring between Haneda and Narita Airport? Can I stop over in Japan? Can I travel inside of Japan for just 24 hours? Um, do I need a visa? These are so many questions that are just flooding into me as a result of Japan announcing that they're going to uh, gradually open up tourism to Japan. So I'm gonna break this all down for you the best that I can at this time. And next week, after I get some more information, I will do another travel update on this channel. Um, this stuff is just kind of breaking and evolving, which is another reason why I have done a very thorough video. Uh, somebody asked me, John, could you please do a more concise video on the entry process into Japan? And the answer is like, nobody really knows what exactly the policies are. So when you're booking your trip to Japan, Please take caution. Number one, if you book with Expedia.com or Travelocity or one of these third-party sites, please keep in mind that if the situation changes, the airlines are not responsible for your tickets, they are. So I highly recommend that you do not use third-party um, applications unless you can guarantee that they are going to take care of you the same as the airline would. Now, in this day and age, I have not seen too many prices that are more expensive by booking directly from the airlines. And I have not seen any advantages to booking with a third party site because the airlines have become very competitive. I always book directly. Do you know, want to know why? Because during the pandemic, they're going to take care of you a lot better than the third party uh, booking sites. And unless you can get a guarantee in writing or you pay for a fare that allows you to have a refund, a lot of you that are booked through a third party agency are not going to be able to get the same benefits as those that book directly with the airlines. ANA and JAL have been wonderful with refunding tickets um, through the pandemic and understanding the situation. If you have a difficulty in, in coming into Japan for some reason, they're the ones ultimately in charge of you once you get on that flight. So they're not allowed to, to board you. I don't think if you can enter into Japan, it just causes a massive amount of problems. So. Um, you might not know until you get to the airport, which is why if you book with a third-party agency, call the airlines directly. Call your third-party agency directly. Get that information from them. If the airlines, uh, one viewer wrote into me that the airline told them that they weren't responsible. I don't know what airline you're flying. It sounds like an American carrier, um, but the airlines are directly responsible once you get on their flight for you when you get into Japan. They have to know the rules, and if they don't, that's a problem. If you're flying and transferring from Haneda to Narita, or you're flying to Narita and you need to transfer through Haneda, don't do that yet. Please make sure before you pay money that you can do this, all right? Just make sure that you can. I know a lot of you booked this in anticipation that Japan would be open, and I've been, that's not a, that guy's pretty good. I, I bet you the police bust him, the police bust him in about um, five minutes. So let's sort of enjoy. This guy, maybe we'll give him a couple of a couple of bucks. Encourage, encourage street street uh, <laughs> music here. King Wong writes in here, John. I just booked my air tickets like five minutes ago. I booked directly with Jal. See you in November, buddy. That's awesome, King. And I just put your postcard in the mail to Singapore, buddy. It's on the way. That's ex that's exciting. Here's a, here's a, this month's postcard: the green tea harvest of Shizuoka, and they've gone out to everybody except for those in Finland, unfortunately, due to the war. Finland is not um, receiving um, airmail right now, but for, uh, who is it, Tomi and Auntie, it's, it's going to go out to you uh, as soon as um, airmail restarts to Finland, and I'm guessing it's going to be really soon. Wow, he's really rocking. Hey, hey long time no see. Genki, eh? Genki. Been a while. Yeah. Yeah, what are you up to? Kind of last year, and I thought I would dump some coins really? into this, uh, really? this guy here. Yeah. yeah, encourage him to keep going for the oh, cops yeah. get here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Like Ghibli pipes from the. What's 
song is that? I've heard it before. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Yeah, long time no see. I know. Are you still working with the free wave? No, I uh, no. no. I haven't. You haven't for yeah, no. yeah, they, yeah but they don't work with someday, the free wave. Yeah, someday, someday. Someday. He's my college friend. Oh. Yeah, husband. Yeah. Yeah. Nihongo ego bite body. Well, I'll be starting up the Yakiniku events, I think, this oh, really? year again, just okay, out cool. of necessity. So okay. hopefully we can get everybody back together again All right, yeah, let's after do years it. of going away. Uh, no. <laughs> it seems like it yeah, might be a good idea. Something. Yeah, we are not expecting to restart it. Probably September, September. maybe okay, at the end cool. of summer. We'll see how it goes. All right. All but right. I, I'm also been a shut-in, right? Everybody's yeah, been a shut-in for years. So it'll be good to, good to get everybody together yeah, better again. better do something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you. I got to get going. Okay, me too. Because I have to go to another event too. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Wow. I believe that's that's Leon. He's He's been here for a while. Yeah, Leon. He's been here for um, a long time in Japan. So it's, it's, it's nice to see people on the streets <laughs> come say hi. I used to do an event called Yakiniku Party. Yakiniku... Um, is grilled beef and on the 29th of every month which is Niku, Nijuku, but Niku, we call it Niku no Hi or Meat Day, I would get about 30, 30 or 40, it ended up being like 70 at the end. People just kept coming, um, organizing these events, but I kept losing money because if people didn't show up, I'd have to pay for them, so I stopped doing it, but because of the pandemic and the long, um, long times of having to stay home and not going out, I might restart this in September. It was a Facebook group that I had. We had about like 500 members. We'd all just go out and eat meat together. <laughs> so I remember, I remember Leon from that, and he was in one of the uh, acting agencies uh, uh, way back when. So that, that was kind of nice to see him. And he said he's he's still single. So <laughs> if anybody's interested, direct message him. Um, so I'm getting back to the flights here. Sorry about that. Uh, if you are thinking about flying in the, into Japan and you have to transfer between Haneda and Narita, before you book your flight, make sure that you could do that. Meaning, please book directly with the airlines and if you have any problems or policies change again, you have to work with them. Yesterday, Kanai and I, we called uh, ANA to book our seats because we're traveling with Leo. It took one hour to get through to them and we had to pay for that call. I think it's like 10, 10 yen for every 30 seconds or something. So that's kind of, uh, it's kind of expensive. But ultimately, at this time of uncertainty, please don't book with third party agencies unless you have a guarantee. Because I feel bad because I get, I've gotten, I don't know, maybe about 50 or 60 messages over the last five or six days. It's like come in really heavy on Instagram, on Patreon, on um, uh, Facebook, which I, by the way, I don't check my personal Facebook page. So please don't write me to my personal Facebook page. I, I almost never check it anymore. Facebook's like, like dead. Uh, mostly Instagram and, and um, Discord as well. And you know, I, I don't want to see anybody get stuck with a $1,000 or $2,000 plane ticket and not be able to get to their destination. Now, right now, the policy is for domestic flights. The transfer to Narita, if you're American, looks pretty easy right now. If you've had three shots, you can transfer right to a domestic flight at Narita Airport without any PCR testing. You can go straight through. And we're starting to get reports of people who are doing that right now. Those that are visiting family or um, have a reason to, to come from the United States in. It's just whoosh, straight through. You don't even have to wait for PCR tests anymore, apparently, which is good news. Uh, travel seems to be coming back um, a lot quicker than we all kind of expected. But that doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. There's still a pandemic going on and the situation could change. Now, if Japan opens up the border, and I want everybody please to just consider this, not all of the Japanese people are, are for tourism to open up. A lot of people, especially those in Kyoto, are kind of not wanting this to happen because they like the way Kyoto used to be, quiet Kyoto. And over the last 10 years, it was loud Kyoto. So there's there is some pushback. There's not as much as uh, as I'd expected. I thought there would be a lot more, but it seems like the border will open this year, um, fully open uh, for most countries. And it just depends on your situation. But it also could close again. 
which is worry. So I, I need you to understand something. If you don't book directly with the airlines, and if you're not flying in a Japanese carrier, I can't say that you're going to be getting uh, the best service. I've already seen like what some of the American Airlines, Delta Airlines, uh, United Airlines, they're kind of scary right now with customer service. And I would be worried of booking them. I would fly with the Japanese carriers if you're coming to Japan, but that's just me. And you probably would pay a little bit more, but you're getting way better service. I've always found your luggage isn't thrown. I, I don't know, I've always just felt like the service was better on Japanese carriers when flying to Japan. And it's like flying a premium economy and in economy in a and So think about it like that. It's just a better flight, I guess. And the food is better and you stay healthier, maybe. I don't know. But um, just my recommendation to you, because I'm getting so many messages, I'm just gonna do it as a general uh, live stream like this and answer your questions. Now, if any of you have any questions, please go ahead and ask me in the live stream. I'm gonna walk a little bit around Ginza here and show you show you the, the area and the street while I'm waiting for some questions to come in. And again, next week, I, I plan to do another live stream uh, going over the travel uh, update more thoroughly because I just keep getting more requests uh, and questions. Uh, you can book JAL via Hawaiian too. They signed a partnership that was approved pre-COVID. Yeah, I think that's a good idea too, but I would always book directly with, with uh, ANA because I, I just don't know. I, I'm sure Hawaiian has really good customer service too, but you want to make sure because Japan is the problem. It's not the United States. So if there's an issue that goes on, I always think that the Japan carriers are going to get that information first before all the other carriers and it'll trickle down to them. So they're always going to have the most up-to-date information. And if you're thinking about coming to Japan in the next um, six months, I would consider flying a Japan carrier if you can. And uh, I know for a lot of Americans, y if you're flying from a, a hub city, that's really hard to do. But but you could fly United and then catch with the ANA or you could fly, um, what is it? I forget the partnerships, um, American Airlines and then connect with JAL. There's a One World Alliance and the, um, what's the other one? Sky Team, I can't remember. Indonesia, I'm not really sure about Indonesia. Check MOFA's website, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. That has all the information up to date. Um, don't even take it from me. If you're booking your trip and spending thousands of dollars, don't get information from a YouTuber. Go directly to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. That's the responsible thing to do because the information that YouTubers give could be outdated really quickly. The same as even the newspapers don't even get the information that quickly. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is changing the website, cha updating it. Um, more and more frequently now and they're the authorities so always go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs the airline those two they know and then you could check also the Japan National Tourism Organization they also have a free toll free number you can call and ask them questions uh, about travel to Japan as well These are good questions. They had some kind of Ghibli music playing just a, a little bit while ago, but it was a like a Ghibli remastered version of Toto, Totoro or something with like a disco Totoro going on there. Yeah, Jody, I did say Finland. Right now, there's no airmail going to Finland, and um, I, I most likely it due to the war going on there. So I have uh, a bunch of postcards to, to resend out. Any other questions here? Let's walk back here. I love the way that you can kind of social distance uh, <laughs> walking down the middle of the street. On the weekends, it is very crowded here in, uh, in Tokyo. People are out and about now. Um, let's see here. I wish our moderators could highlight videos, but we don't have that, that kind of... Uh, Uh, access yet from YouTube. I've used both JAL and Singapore Airlines to fly to Japan. They have been excellent. I would, I would guarantee that Singapore Airlines is going to be excellent, but they're more to the rules. So sometimes if they have it written in the rule and you, and you don't like the rule, they'll stick to it. Singapore is really strict with the rules. a and JAL as well, but they kind of will 
bend a little bit more than Singapore won't bend on a lot of things. But they're really good. I've flown Singapore a lot. I was a Chris Flyer for a while. I um, what do we got here? Actual question: Any advice for pets? Ashes? I I don't know. I don't. Any special work moving dogs? Is anybody here can help uh, Abby? I don't know about pets ashes because it could be something other than ashes in the urn. Urine I, I urn. I don't know. When is the cheapest time to fly to Japan? I would say in the off seasons, maybe during the typhoon season, uh, not in the summer. Stay away from the Japanese holiday seasons of Obon, Golden Week, and uh, uh, Shogatsu, which is the New Year's holiday, those three. And yeah, I don't think you're gonna find too many um, super deals um, for a while though, unless it's on like Aerofloat. <laughs> I don't know, like, can you even fly through, fly on Aerofloat, would you want to? I don't know. Personality of brick wall, uh, RN is, it's only uh, tour packages, so you probably can't choose which airlines. Maybe many tour agencies book the flights, planes as well. I don't get your shoulder caught on the slowly opening Yokan doors. Exactly, do not do not do that, it can hurt. Just booked round trip from LAX to Narita for $840, July, uh, August 31st. Thanks for the info, I'm glad that you got that. Make sure you can get a refund should things go sour. Uh, but that's a really good price. Again, that's coming from California. From New York, it's always a little bit more because of the, the flight's longer. They're, they're here uh, telling people not to ride bicycles and and doing something here, I'm not sure. I like how they walk in unison, but they should, their feet should match up like one, two, one, two, left, right, left, right. Walk your bicycles, yeah. I think they're just doing it as like a part-time job, so. Don't you think? I think they should be in unison more. One, left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, he's busting him! He found a bicycler. God, they're really... Look at, he's holding his sign. They totally attacked her. They are some serious bicycle law enforcers. I wonder what the training is for that. How do they simulate it? Different scenarios. I'd like to get in on that job. Travel insurance is a good idea too. I, I don't know, travel insurance. I think less and less you, you need travel insurance. <laughs> I don't know, as a result of the pandemic. I never get travel insurance. I've never really had, I never really had too much of a problem. Um, but again, I've only flown directly with the airlines. So in, the, in those situations, the airlines have been really good in uh, taking care. But I, I try to avoid, you know, ja, uh, the non-Japanese carriers. So in the end, it, it pays off paying a little bit more with them. It's been my experience. I think a lot of you might be the same. Does travel insurance cover pandemics? I don't know. You have to ask the insurance. There's hundreds of insurances, even thousands. Each one is different. So I highly recommend that you take you, you ask these questions to the insurer. Some of them might. How's the motorbike lessons going? Chen, I start that on um, June 1st because I'm going to be in uh, Hokkaido. On, I have to go to Shizuoka next week and Nagoya. And then the week after that, I have to go to Hokkaido for a week. And then I have to go to Tsukuba to film a factory at the end of the month. So I'm, uh, I start the motorcycle licenses June 1st and, it's, and then it's intensive. I got to go back to Hokkaido for a, an a, um, auction, so I might have to break up the lessons. It's going to be interesting. Simon writes in here, I bought a ticket for 600 round trip from Seattle to Tokyo in November, fingers crossed. It's, it sounds like it's going to be okay. Hold on a second. They're coming out. I hope they don't come after me. It sounds like it's going to be okay, but um, I, I just hope maybe you, you uh, have some, um, some assurances from the airlines should the policy change. Uh, for whatever reason. I don't think it's going to though. I don't think you, I think if you open the country, you open it for good. I don't think you can go back after this because the credibility, Japan's credibility would be damaged and Kishida-san after his speech, you know, trust, trust in, uh, invest in Kishida, I think he's, he said in the speech. Like I, I would not invest in Kishida if he closes the border again. So once it's open, it's open, which I, you can assume 
that's why Japan is opening slowly right now and not just announcing Japan's open because you can't close it again and they're kind of just having a wait and see thing and after waiting for so long I don't I don't blame them because they know this once they open they're open all right <laughs> Yeah. All right, so some good questions here. I thought I would do this for 30 minutes, so I'll go on a little bit longer if you have some questions. Uh, I'm very happy to answer them about your trip coming to Japan. But next week, once again, I'm gonna have a more thorough uh, travel update as usual. Uh, do they start off with training wheels or do they have ninjas on either side? <laughs> I'm guessing uh, ninjas. Parents look like ninjas, right there. They're trained in the art of, I don't know, milk providing, I can't, I guess, diaper changing. I didn't get that same training, it's been harder for me. I didn't get that same training, it's been harder for me. The yen is getting a bit better, isn't it? Uh, Carrie, no it's not. I would say it's about 129 to the dollar. It's still hovering between 128 and 132. I think it's gonna stay like that for a while, but it, you know it's hard to tell these things. Peter and I were we were talking about this, and uh, it doesn't. It looks like the the rate is gonna be better than it was three years ago for those that are visiting this summer, and then we don't know. I I don't think I don't think the rate's gonna get uh, advantageous for for us on the Japan side. It's gonna stay like this for a while. Carlos is excited to get back to Japan. That's nice to hear. Is there a problem with Japanese carriers catering to smaller Japanese bum? What? I don't know. That looks like that Ferrari is blocking the street over there. Look at that. Whoa! Only in Ginza. <laughs> Bank of Hawaii is giving 123.24 yen to the dollar. Wow, that's an awful rate. But then again, it's still pretty good if you compare it to like three months ago, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's a tough one. I, I think that rate's too low. I think it would be 126 and give them 2%. Don't give them more. Don't never give the bank more than 2% on an exchange. That's my rule. That's my policy. It's a Corvette, actually. Thank you, Jody. I don't... You got better eyes than me. It was probably Minecraft quality, too, so... <laughs> I have to give you credit for that. Good spot. 134 yen for a euro. Wow. How much cash is best to take? I don't know. Japan has... That's a, actually, that's a better question than I thought it was when you think about it now. Hold on a second. How much, Japan is a cash country. More people use cash than in maybe any other country. Like credit cards and digital money was not a big thing until about five years ago. And I'm noticing more and more places are taking plastic. And I think it's a result of the pandemic where money is just another contact point for spreading the virus. They've been moving more and more to touch. So I'm guessing you don't need to bring a lot of cash. You can keep things on your credit card more. But um, just keep in mind that if you travel outside of the country, there are situations where credit cards are not, or, or money, um, digital money is not as useful. So. That's actually a really good question. And I think that the country has changed the most with regards to this over the last two and a half years during the pandemic as just a direct res um, response to not wanting to touch so much money. I've been going to food trucks and being able to use credit cards. Uh, my credit cards are now touch activated. I have an American Express card, just touch it and I can pay for things. So that's been really useful. Um, it's easy, no, actual cash tra trades places so but you don't need as much as you used to but I would I would always have about um, 30,000 yen in my pocket just in case if you, especially if you're leaving the city and you're going out to the countryside but you can get cash at 7-eleven with with usually for foreign credit cards on the plus system or any post office as well so it's kind of convenient now to get cash. 20 years ago, 24 years ago when I came to Japan, I couldn't get cash anywhere. I had to literally change money at banks because Japanese ATMs would not take um, foreign credit cards, only Citibank. 
which are only in a few cities and now their Citibank is gone. So from here anyways. Some really good questions. $50,000, maybe Zimbabwe dollars. I don't think you need that much. Lots of places accept the Suica card and can be loaded on the iPhone easily. Yes. But if you want to buy the uh, Ikoka card, the, Nagoya, the uh, Osaka one, for some reason it doesn't work with the iPhone. So I think that might change uh, over the next year. Ah, we're watching the, the authorities bust down on riders. Should have tackled him. Guy needs to get to the gym. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he knows uh, Kung Fu or something. Don't know. Judo. Have you flown during the pandemic? I have. I've flown quite a bit domestically. I haven't flown internationally yet. Um, so here I'm looking at... I got my ticket from, from LA to Tokyo via Air Canada. Uh, I'd never fly Air Canada, even to Canada. Do you? <laughs> I think I should move to July. Um, I don't know. I think I'm, I, I think you're gonna have to talk with Air Canada though. If Air Canada is allowing you to go, then you can go. All right. Air Canada won't let you. At least I, I don't, I don't. That, this is why I won't book with a foreign airline. All right. I don't know why they would book the ticket, first of all. You don't book a ticket unless you can get on it. And if you can't get into Japan, then they're not going to be able to, to you, you, you gotta get your money back. They can't just take your money like this. So please be careful with where you book. Air Canada, I've heard some very, not great things about them. So I'd be very scared to fly with them to Japan with not having the right amount of information. And maybe my fear is unwarranted, I don't know. But I can tell you, I, I wouldn't even put my money on a trip this year with a non-Japanese carrier to save a couple hundred dollars because it's just going to be a headache. And it might be, it might be, um, it work out well for you, but the risk is increased because it's just not the same customer service. Japan's culture with the customer service is just so good, except for Apple Japan, which might have the worst customer service in the world. I'm still waiting for my iPhone, Apple Japan. It's been six months. Even the Tokyo police can't even get in touch with your customer service. It takes months to do that. Gosh, awful customer service. Don't get me started. American Airlines, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna fly them. I'm not flying anything except for JAL, ANA. Maybe Singapore Airlines, because they are pretty good. Um, <laughs> not that you have a choice. Some of you just don't have choices. I could be picky because I'm flying from Haneda and Narita. You know what I mean? Yeah, Ario, no, you know, okay, you could use that apple, but don't use anything with a bite in it. Gosh. Steve Jobs would roll over in his grave if he knew how bad an Apple Japan's services is. They should be all fired. <laughs> um, let's see here. All right, last questions here. If you have issues with a refund you, you paid by card your bank might let you raise a disputed transaction jeffrey i paid my iphone with my american express gold card and they didn't they would couldn't do anything about that so i don't know i think you have to make sure you, your credit card you have to know your credit card very well too it's more of an it's more of a japan problem than an american express problem probably but make sure you you have some sort of travel insurance if you pay by your credit card usually there's some ways to get money back but again that could be a red tape thing too to get i think i got 10,000 yen for the iphone that never showed up even though i gave them 1500 dollars, i got 100 dollars back uh, from insurance i don't understand how that works i'm not sure how it's my fault either it just never came how is that my fault um Walmart has discounted center for airlines and their prices are around $1,200 and I've seen some online. Why would you pay that to Walmart, a third party reseller? Just the airlines are, are even cheaper, okay? Just get it directly from the airlines. If, they're, if they are charging that fee that low, then there's a problem. You're probably not going to get a refund or get any assurances for your ticket. You get what you pay for pretty much, all right? So if you're thinking about getting a, a trip to Japan, just please understand the risks that are involved at the moment. And then understand 
that if there's like no refunds and you're, you're trying to save a couple hundred dollars, you, 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 I, it's a gamble. I, I'd say that that's too much of a gamble. Either wait until 2023 or book with a Japan carrier. Or fly domestic to a place where you can book with a Japan carrier. I don't know. What's UGG? I think that's an Australian company, right? I don't know. When we flew back to the United States, we had a choice. We had a choice. We could have flown um, America, uh, United Airlines, and it was it was about four hundred dollars cheaper to fly American Airlines, but we'd have to change through Chicago. I'm not. I no, no way. One, not with a baby, because. Yeah, I'm not going to transfer to domestic flight. I saw something on Inside Edition and they pulled an entire family, United Airlines, off of a off of a flight. A baby was in the toddlers. They changed the flight. They moved their teenage son to another flight so that they could fly together with the toddlers, the parents, and that caused them to get booted from the flight because they overbooked. It could have been Delta. But there's no way I'm flying domestic with a kid. There's no way. I mean, I, it's craziness. Really? Not for not connecting to an international flight. I'd rather drive. Do some Gris, Griswold. <laughs> That's just me. Is it possible to arrive in Japan without a vaccine? Some websites say a negative test and you're okay. I, I will, let me wait until next week for information on this. It's still kind of evolving. Nobody really knows yet um, for clearly, but I'm guessing that Japan is not, is, is going to encourage everybody to have three vaccines, uh, the booster, and uh, you don't even have to take a, a negative COVID test. If you're not boosted, if you're not vaccinated, I'm not sure if you can come in yet. I think that Japan doesn't want you to get sick here because they don't want to take care of you because they're having a hard time taking care of its own citizens. Most of them are over like 65. Hey, that's Cinderella. Is that Cinderella or she's wearing Romanian colors though? Uh, Ukrainian colors. The bubbles of freedom. Snow White, that's right. Snow White. Ukrainian Snow White, I like that. India still closed the border for tourists. That's what the prime minister said. Yeah, I think so. I'm not a big fan of, of Modi right now. He's a little bit too close to Russia. A little bit too close, Modi. Mr. Mr. Modi. I can't, I don't know. I don't want to get involved with Indian politics, but. Um. Yeah, this war is causing a lot of problems, which is travel in general. I can stay on topic here. Those coming from Europe have to be rerouted and go all the way around um, that massive country. And it's causing lots of problems too with uh, mail. So our, for Finland um, Patreon supporters, I apologize your postcards are getting held here, but I will send them out as soon as the airmail restarts. Yeah, India is, is uh, very critical of of the United States and Ukraine right now. So I'm not happy about that. All the, I've been watching Indian news, very disappointed in the coverage. I don't know. I hope they turn it around. Um, so there you go. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, you can leave comments below. I'll, I'd be happy to answer it to you. Make sure you watch the Snow Monkey episode that I uploaded. Uh, I think it'll bring you a smile. Uh, I just uh, put that on the main channel yesterday. Leave me a comment. I'm gonna check that as soon as I get back and I will respond to you if you ask me a question on the Snow Monkey video. We'll uh, definitely be checking this for comments about travel. And next week, stay tuned for a video uh, for me giving a more thorough travel update, kind of explaining the questions about if you're vaccinated and vaccinated, and what countries you're coming from. I'll be able to lay that out more uh, by doing a, like an OBS studio type of live stream be able to show you stuff on the screen. I wanna be able to do that next week. I'm going on the 19th and the 20th to Shizuoka and Nagoya. So I'll be doing travel live streams then, but uh, sometime as soon as I can uh, get that information and we're more set on what June looks like, 
I'll be able to bring you that information because I think um, June might still be too soon, but you just don't know and maybe you're gonna get lucky. And if you do become one of the pioneers, the first people to come into Japan, you're gonna be welcomed with not a lot of people and, and Kyoto really quiet. Because once Kyoto opens up, it's gonna get a lot louder. Although Chinese tourists are not allowed to come into Japan, or they're not allowed to leave China without a, a, without like a, a, re, a purpose other than tourism, um, and they were made up the majority of the tourists, it's gonna be um, still a lot more crowded once the borders open up. So you probably, it's nice to be one of the first people to be here in Japan when that happens. Which is kind of a little bonus, you know, it's a little more empty. And we do, we, Kanai and I are looking forward to coming to Singapore again really soon. We have to get to that night safari. We went right before they closed and we're disappointed with that. We didn't make it in time. All right, everybody, take care. Thanks for the questions. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in another live stream probably tomorrow. Bye from Ginza.